Hey everyone, day 26 of my 90 day vlogging series. Um, what to talk about? Do, do, do. Oh, so there's a book that I'm reading called How to Get Lots of Money for Anything by Joe Vitale and Stuart Lichtman. Um, and this is the second Joe Vitale book that I'm reading. And don't let the name confuse you. <laughs> um, this really is for... Um, and really any any goal set any goal setting you want to do any particular goal that you want to achieve and um, it goes over Stuart Lichtman's um, method called the cybernetic transposition and there's two parts to that and the first part is just the basic you know set of processes um, to you know, to basically get what you want um, or, you know achieve your goal or whatever um, and the second bit is oh, I forgot what it was called but it's the, the second part of the method is really just to be able to achieve you know what you know your impossible goals and um so right now i am yeah on the on the basic um the basic steps um for achieving your goal you know getting whatever you want and in the first in in the basic steps there are three steps and the first step is um creating a target um the second step is prioritizing your target, and the third step is um, removing and releasing, you know, any negative um, feelings and um, <clears throat> negative feelings and bad feelings, or any like limiting beliefs towards your your target. So it's quite interesting because, <clears throat> well, I've gone over the first two so far. I'm actually kind of in the middle of the second ones. So I've gone over the create a target and um, prioritizing your target and for creating your target, um, you'd obviously pick a target, that you, an objective you, you'd want to achieve. So, for example, you know, let's say you want to, you know, earn a certain amount of money per month, or even just, um, I don't know, what's another goal? Travel around the world, go to, you know, 10 countries in the next couple years or so. Um, and so, basically, what the cybernetic transposition method does is, you pick your target, your objective, your target. You, um, what you do is you think of your target and kind of, when you think of your target, you kind of try to think of a memory that, um, like a really a good memory that, um, <laughs> that you've had in your past. And so you write this down, you write down the memory, um, and you go through several iterations of you know rewriting your story until you basically feel like well actually so you write, so you write down um, your memory and you read it and you rate on a scale from one to ten um, ten meaning being the most desirable feel most desirable feeling um, and you kind of you know write down a number um, of what you know what you're feeling when you actually read that. And what you want to do is you keep revising it so that it's that it's a really positive spin on this past memory, and um, you just keep on doing that until your scale increases. So you know if you're writing a, something down and you only feel like it's a six because, well, I mean there's a there's a positive memory, but maybe um, you know there are a few words in there that kind of made made you feel a bit weird about it. So you're just going to go back and revise it. Um, I actually wanted to use the example that was in the book, but <clears throat> I don't have it up, so let's see. Mm. Well, you know what? I will do the um, example tomorrow, and um, that'll help give you a better idea of of what you can do. Um, but I just wanted to go over at least the basic steps, just you know, tell you what they are so that you know what to look forward to. So. Yeah. I will see you tomorrow on day 27. Hope you have a good day. All right. Bye.